So I feel like the fake K-pop idol I created has enough of a following now that he can start making merch. You know, once you reach a certain level of fame as a K-pop idol, your fans will start wanting things that are tangible that they can buy to support you with. I know that Ian's fans really want a light stick, one that vibrates specifically, and according to my sources, Lee's buy-ins really like that kind of stuff. Or so I've heard. But we're just gonna start off with something small and simple because if I were to make a vibrating light stick, I'm gonna have to hire like a whole team of engineers and like architects. Or is it mechanics that I need to hire? I don't know. I'll figure that out when the time comes. So Ian wants his first piece of merchandise to be something special. Never done before, limited edition, one of a kind. By one of a kind, I mean that there's only gonna be one made ever in the world because he wants the first person that buys his merch to remember that they're buying into something bigger and more important than Ian. They're buying into a belief that, why does this sound like a cult? You know what, forget everything I said for the past 30 seconds, I don't want to get in trouble. So as Ian's manager slash friend, I'm going to design some custom merch for him, since I'm known for drawing like really bad art. Oh, you know what, I'm just thinking, I should have an alias so it's not suspicious, right? Um, what's like a good alias for me as a designer? What's like a mixture of Ian and Edwin? Edvasion? Ed... Eddie... Edvasian. Uh, I think I'm just going to call myself Evan. So after I design Ian's shirt, we're gonna sell it on eBay because that's where I sold my fake BTS shirt last time which somehow got like an $18,000 bid on it. Unfortunately, the person couldn't pay that much and they could only pay me $200, which honestly is like $199 more than I thought I would get. People kept telling me that I should have went down the list of bidders to see who would actually pay that amount instead of just going with the highest bidder, so my bad. Uh, realistically though, I feel like the majority of bids that Ian's gonna get is probably gonna be troll bids because let's face it, it. Ian's fans are chaotic and wild, and I don't think Ian can even control them. But what if, this is kind of a big but though, but what if Ian's fans are secretly rich? Because out of his 70,000 followers on Instagram, all it takes is one billionaire fan to place a really high bid on this t-shirt. Also, did I read that right? 70k, oh my god. Wow, I can't believe a fake person that I made up is gonna pass me in followers. Okay, enough talking. Let's have Evan design some merch for Ian. <laughs> Am I gonna have to make like another fake identity? This is too many for my brain to handle. Hi, so it might look a little bit different, but that's because I am Evan. Just kidding. <laughs> I just had to quickly get a haircut, but I'm back now. And no, I didn't just decide to cut my hair so I could become Evan. I'm not crazy. <coughs> I think the design that we're gonna go for is the Ian Lee Utopian album, the boyfriend version, just because I feel like it. There's not that much reasoning behind the things I do. Okay, I haven't used these Sharpies in like more than six months, so let's see if I remember how to use these. Oh, that was actually pretty easy. Okay, a line has been drawn. All right, here's the square that Ian Lee is gonna be trapped in. Yay! Is that a metaphor for something? Maybe. Okay, after that we're gonna do the line work. I've already drawn so much ugly art before, why am I so nervous for this specific thing? The roses are so overexposed, they're just gonna look like a blob. Or should I just make up details? Oh my god, this part is so confusing. I don't even know what I'm drawing anymore. Well, so far I have some flowers. Ooh, pretty. I feel like it's actually not bad. You could literally call this modern art and sell it for like $1,000. Once I add Ian on there, it will either turn into negative $5 or like a billion dollars. Uh, his face? <laughs> um, wait. Oh no, his face is kind of big. Uh-oh. Well, I've set the line work for Ian's face. I think it looks okay. Uh, proportions. So bad though. There's supposed to be space here for Ian Lee and Utopian, but now maybe I'll just put both of that over here. Oh, it's kind of wrinkly. I mean, it's really not that bad so far. His face is just kind of bloated. Ew. <laughs> The flowers! Ian's face looks a little fat, but that's okay. He does look different every single time. He just gained a little bit of weight during quarantine. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, this is kind of random, but did you guys know that Attack on Titan Season 4 is coming out soon? Why does it look so scary already? His eyes literally look like black holes, and that's what I drew. I just be drawing what I see. I'm not trying to hurt anyone's feelings. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Let me show you guys. So I made a little bit of an artistic choice as an artist. I wrote Ian Lee on two lines instead of straight across. And then for Utopian, I put it on the side over here since it obviously wasn't going to fit like this. So far, it's not that bad. Ian just looking like a squirrel that also got turned into a titan. The roses look like weird, swirly, scary things. But I think all we need is a bit of color and I think it'll look fine. I'm a baddie bee. I'm a baddie bee. <laughs> 
You know what? I'm actually really proud of these flowers. Look how realistic they look. By realistic, I mean like if you move the camera really quickly, they kind of look like flowers. Also, the two-tone lipstick, like Ian looks like Olaf. Ew! Olaf is actually one of my most hated characters of all time, and those teeth are freaking triggering. Well, all in all, Ian looks pretty cute here, and I feel like I did a not that bad of a job. It looks <laughs> I also started off using these uh, fabric sharpies, which are meant for clothing, but then I realized that I didn't have enough colors, so I had to resort to using regular sharpies. So if someone ends up buying this, uh, let's just hope that they do not wash it, because I don't know what's gonna happen. Ooh, okay, perfect. Time for Ian to model this masterpiece. So I'm gonna take a few photos of Ian and specific scenarios of him wearing the merch. Just to make it seem like, oh look, Ian wore this merch, so he must like it. I'm gonna make it look like Ian was photographed by the paparazzi wearing the shirt. Like, you know those pictures of celebrities where they're always like, no pictures, no pictures. And they're always wearing hats like this where they can hide their face or like a mask or something. I'm also gonna post a picture of Ian sitting at a cafe with his friend. Just like a candid photo of Ian wearing his nice shirt and like a coffee or something. Like imagine you're meeting someone and they show up wearing something like this. But you know what? It is kind of artsy though. You can just tell your friend that, oh, I bought this from a famous designer and I paid a lot of money for it. So obviously that means it's worth something. So with the power of anime god and photoshop, I was able to create these pictures of Ian. Photoshop is still not my strong suit, but I am slowly getting better. It's usually the background that suffers the most and gets warped or like messed up, which is actually pretty common nowadays. I mean, everyone uses Facetune, so why not Ian? It's just a little bit of Facetune, Ian can have it as a treat. So for my master plan, I'm gonna sell this t-shirt on eBay as a reseller. I'm just gonna say that Ian Lee got tired of wearing this shirt and decided to get rid of it and it somehow randomly ended up in my possession, so I'm gonna sell it. And then I can use these photos of Ian's as a selling point. Like, ooh, Ian was spotted wearing this shirt three times, that'll drive up the market value by like 200%. Because people buy used things from celebrities all the time, like a tissue or a napkin. And this one's even better, because Ian can't even wash the shirt. For the cafe picture, sorry to the visco girl that I had to um, mangle out of the photo. Hmm, this phantom's getting kind of scary. We be sacrificing little girls for the Lee's buy-in's sake. I wonder, maybe in 50 years someone will make like a whole YouTube series on this thing, or maybe like someone will do it for a school project. Yeah, I feel like history lessons are gonna be weird in the future. So to generate some hype for the shirt, I'm gonna have Ian post a picture on his Instagram of him wearing the merch. I was able to photoshop uh, this lovely picture of Ian at the cafe, drinking his um, water. <laughs> And to be honest, this is actually not the worst Photoshop job that I have done. Which, um, it's kind of sad to say because this is pretty bad. <laughs> so I mean, because of that, there's a few, like, inconsistencies in the background. Like, oh look, a floating drawer. But that's okay, Ian's whole thing is being inconsistent, so we're right on brand. Okay, let me write a witty caption as Mr. Ian. What should he say? Hmm, I'm just thinking, should I have him mention the shirt or should I just nonchalantly post this casual candid picture at the cafe? Actually, maybe I'll just do that and just see what the Lee's buy say. They might be like, ooh, what is that handsome piece of clothing that you're wearing? Um, and they can also be like, I pretend I do not see. Why is that thing staring at me? Ooh, okay, so I posted on Instagram and Twitter and I am getting some inquiries about the merch. And naturally, there were some comments that called out uh, Ian's appearance, which is actually okay. It just makes me strive to get better at Photoshop because graphic design is my passion, if you couldn't tell. Someone said he looks like that weird rip you get when you rip out pages from a textbook. Hi, so it's just a casual uh, two in the morning. And for some reason, I thought this was the best time to list my t-shirt on eBay. So that's what I did. Let me show you the listing. I named it Authentic Ian Lee K-pop Merch, designed by Evan, Utopian version. Starting bid, $1. This shirt came into my possession after famous K-pop trainee Ian Lee decided he would not be wearing it anymore. Genuine Ian Lee merch designed by famous designer Evan. One of a kind and limited edition, only one made in the entire world. Ian Lee was actually photographed wearing this shirt on three different occasions. There is a sharpie stain on the left shoulder. I'm actually not sure how that got there or when that happened, but oops. And last but not least, signed by Ian Lee himself. He even put his signature blue heart in the middle. Also, washing not recommended as Sharpie will come off. I feel like this looks pretty legit and descriptive. I mean, I would be intrigued if I saw this. Like, look at all these high quality pictures of the t-shirt and Ian that I used. If I was a regular eBay user, I would say that this looks pretty professional. I put a lot of effort into my listing compared to some other ones that I've seen. 
I posted on my Twitter, my Instagram, and my YouTube community tab that I was just casually scrolling through eBay at 2am as, you know, regular people do. And would you look at that? I saw this Ian merch being sold by an anonymous seller that is definitely not me. Damn it, I should have changed my name. So it's only been like 10 minutes. Um, so far, only one person has bid, so the shirt will be selling for a dollar, thankfully. Honestly, I actually thought Ian would have gotten like a couple more bids, maybe up to like $5 or something. But you know what? This could be a good thing. Like if the bids are at a reasonable price, then there's a higher chance that the person who won the bid will probably pay it. But I could wake up tomorrow morning and see like a billion dollar bid placed by a child on their parents' credit card. So I guess we shall see tomorrow morning. I should also go to bed. What is wrong with me? Damn it, I spoke too soon. Someone already placed a bid over $100. I hope you will be paying that because obviously they will. Like, who wouldn't pay $100 for this? Oh my god, Ian looks like he has jaundice. Please, Ian, stop working so hard. Hi, so the auction is over and the final bid ended up being $17,900. What? Which I'm pretty sure is the exact same amount that someone bid on my BTS shirt. So I'm not sure if this number is a cap that eBay puts on bidders or if it's just a coincidence. At the very beginning, I did have some high hopes that people would actually bid reasonable amounts for this shirt. Because at first people did bid to buy this for a dollar, which, okay, fair, I can see that selling for a dollar. Like, if I saw that t-shirt for a dollar, even if I didn't know what it was, I would probably buy it just for fun. <laughs> and then suddenly it went from a dollar to $45, which might seem like a lot, but for like K-pop merch that was worn by the actual k-pop idol i feel like that's pretty reasonable and then slowly the bids started going up and up and up and personally i feel like 200 would probably be the max that someone would pay for this for like a regular person if they were a billionaire though open your purse love i see that stack of hundred dollar bills at the bottom hello and then eventually the bids started getting crazy and i was like okay these are fake no one's gonna pay this amount do you guys think this is some sort of joke? I mean, it kind of is, but <laughs> I'm trying my best to run a legitimate business here and you guys are making it so hard. Well, I guess the next step is to message this crazy Lee's buy-in who bid this amount and see if they'll pay it. Well, it looks like they messaged me already and it looks like they actually wanted to bid $1.70 but accidentally bid $17,000 instead. They're also from Indonesia, which I wasn't planning on shipping to, but if they would have paid like $17,000, I might have made an exception. I, I would have shipped to there. So I decided to take your guys' advice and message everyone who bid on the t-shirt to see who would actually pay the amount that they bid, and this is what happened. Um, so I feel like something's up with eBay. I tried to send messages to multiple bidders, but after sending one message, eBay was like, oh, looks like you've sent your maximum daily messages. Try again next time. And I was like, I can only send one message a day? How does that make any sense at all? It's gonna take weeks for me to message every single person on that list, so I don't know what to do now. Like, I'm kinda sad. There's not really gonna be an ending here, so... What do I do with the shirt? Maybe I can sell it on Etsy or something. Anyways, I guess the shirt will have to live another day in my presence. We'll just say Ian had a change of heart and decided to buy the shirt back. Yes, that makes total sense. I'm actually just gonna slowly message every single person who bid, one by one, even if it'll take weeks. Just to see what people are offering. You never know, someone could want to pay $10,000 for this. I will keep you guys updated in the comments. If you know of any Rich Lee's buy-ins, uh, let them know that this t-shirt is on sale.